African penguins are the only penguin species found on the southern coast of Africa, and so they're very special, not only to South Africa, but all over the world. The way they walk, the way they interact with each other, the way they look at their partners, it's a different personality perspective to what we as humans have, and we can learn so much from penguins. In the early 1900s, we had 1.5 million of these penguins, and it was a beach full of black and white feathers. The decline of penguins has gone rapidly, from 1.5 million to almost 40,000 feeding pairs. It does make one sad, it does make one think, what did we do to the planet? My name is Sinead Rakkis. I am the head penguin keeper at the Tourish and Secretum. I'm also an animal health technician. When I was 12 years old, my mom brought me to the aquarium as a birthday surprise. And then I watched the penguin feed and I said to her, Mommy, Mommy, I want to be like that lady. I've read up on penguins, I've studied penguins. That's where my passion lies, that's where I'm fascinated in. This morning, okay. can we see who's going to come off the beach and then maybe we can take them up to go and swim in Kalf? Yeah. Our day-to-day -day operational work generally deals with making sure that everything runs smoothly. So in the mornings, it's preparing breakfast. Our penguins eat three times a day because they have a very fast metabolism. So we prepare a breakfast meal for the birds, we add some special medication if it's necessary, and then we feed them and we interact with them. We watch the behaviour of the penguins during that time frame of feeding. In captivity, an African penguin can live for more than 30 years. So our oldest African penguin at the moment is Chuck. Chuck is the checkered bird at the back. He was one of the first African penguins that arrived in 1994 when the aquarium opened. We've got two colonies at the aquarium. Firstly, we've got the African blackbird penguin, which is the endemic endangered species, and then we have the rock hopper penguins. Our African penguin colony started with a stud book, which is vital. Because we can't have inbreeding taking place, we had a donation of a few penguins when the aquarium started from a facility. After that, we created our own colony and then swapped out with other facilities. With our rock hopper penguin species, though, most of them have all been rescued. From the islands where they come from, there's a lot of fishing that happens around there, and often these birds come in as bycatch or as confiscated animals. And when that happens, we rehabilitate the penguins because of injuries as well. But because we are concerned about any parasites that can be transferred across waters, they can't be released. So this is their permanent home for them, but also they are great ambassadors to their species. African penguins can't be released at the moment because there's not enough fish in the ocean pollution and overfishing is the biggest concern around the African penguin and also with the numbers declining rapidly we can't also provide that opportunity for newer younger birds when the older ones are fighting for survival of the fittest. Animal health is a very important segment of looking after animals in general. So when any animals are sick, or in particular the penguins, I do work very closely with the vet. The appetite's increased, everybody's eating four to five fish a day. The vet also appreciates when I do go to her with a particular problem. I can monitor behavior, I can monitor personality around the penguins and give her feedback as time goes by. That's the anemone. Do you know what it's doing? It's thinking your finger is food. Education is key for me. I mean, you're never too old to learn. Sometimes the kids that come here have never even seen a beach or seen a marine animal. And so to teach them what is out there, it's something that they can learn about. The more we teach, the more we educate each other, we can help each other to not only provide a safe space for penguins, but provide a safe space for all endangered animals all over the world. Penguins need us to be the spokesperson to protect them. We as South Africans are privileged to have a penguin species on our coastline. So do what you can to protect the environment, protect the species, and just enjoy seeing them out in the wild. <laughs>